Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the newest edition of What You've Been Missing. Straight out of Washington, D.C. It's your man, Odyssey, one-third of the Diamond District. And I'm here in France right now, the Original Festival. Big ups, much respect, and shout-outs to Cyril Magazine as well. Thank you and peace. I never asked to be born, and that's no question. The sun's still shining off the same old lessons. The why does life feel like an educated guess? And my thoughts like meals, I'm a sucker for the seconds. Impressions got a lot of us stressing, but how we all perceive is more about a reflection. And the reception's warm that I receive, which leads me to believe these hoes like what I eat. Tall women in heels, tall money in deals, man. Off the no wall, I like all money for real. More time abroad and less time at home. Less time for broads and more time for zones, yeah. I'm in it with flying out of another one. Yes, I have heard of it. Um, I've heard of the original festival uh, maybe a few years ago. Um, never ne actually heard of any of the artists performing at it, but as far as learning about different uh, festivals in Europe, because I tour constantly, yeah. it has a reputation as being one of the best and most organized festivals in Europe. So I definitely have heard of it. I think it's very, very uh, important to mix all the different subgenres and, and uh, newer artists and older artists together on one bill. I think it's really, really important. I think what that does for the, the fans and the demographic that comes in is exposes them to uh, newer artists and older artists. So for the people who came to hear the legendary cats, they can get put on to newer artists and the people who are only fans of the newer artists can get uh, a history lesson, basically. So it's like the preservation of the music and the continuation of it. So for a festival to combine that's really, it's a great thing, it's an important thing as well. And I'm not sure why, but um, things seem different now. You know, I, I, I think any artist can uh, admit this, but I think you get something called stage energy. Mm -hmm. No matter how tired you are, before you hit the stage, you just get this burst of energy. and. Um, even though the songs may be the same for you, it's a different crowd and their reaction is a new one every night. And you don't want to give them something less than you gave the night before. So me personally, it's like a new show every single time I perform. Uh, this, the show, the live show is for me the final um, point in music in the, in the in the creation process of music from the conception of the record um, for me, when I make a beat, then I write a rhyme, then I record it, then I mix it, then I release it, then you listen to it, and then I perform it for you. It's the final step to it. So it's just, it's, it's important to finally have that connection because you started here and the fans started here and you finally meet them, you know what I mean? So I think that's a, it's, most, it's the most important part of uh, music for me is a live performance. She practically handed me the ass and I could care less because she lacked class. We're label mates. We're on the same label. It's called yeah. Mellow Music Group. And he and I both release tons of records on Mellow Music Group. So yeah. we're partners and we're friends. Okay. Um, he makes his own albums. I make my own albums, but they're on the same label. Yeah. Uh, in May 21st, I believe, he and OC have a record coming out called Trophies. In June 12th, my solo album comes out called People Here With AC which I produced and wrote the whole thing. So this tour is actually to promote our new records on our same on the same label that we're on. Yeah. So we're label mates. But not my tennis shoes, more about my fruit and veg. I decorate my crib, my home is couchless. Um, there's a very big difference in performing for a non-English speaking crowd. Um, the language barrier, of course. So, so much of what makes hip hop what it is, is a music based on spoken word, is gone. So, it's almost like losing senses. If you were blind, the other senses become stronger. If you were deaf, the other senses become stronger. So I've gained so much from performing in countries where English wasn't their first language because it's made me have to display my message in other ways through the flow of my lyrics, through my body movement, through the rhythm of the music. Um, those are the things that they attach themselves to because they, not, they may not necessarily be able to understand what I'm saying. So it's, I feel, made me a better producer. So when I come home to the States or English-speaking countries, not only can I convey my message vocally through my words, but I also have other ways to convey the same message. So I feel like it makes my show even better. So um, I'm, 
I'm happy that I've been able to have such an opportunity to strengthen my other senses, so to speak. I went from cold pizza with old FIFA to see a goal scored in person at low bleachers. So lazy. Um, no, honestly. Um, and that may be to my own detriment, but I'm not a competitive person. I really exist in my own head. Mm -hmm. um, my show is my show. Um, I barely stick around. I, 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 I stay back here until I go on stage. And I go on stage, I do my thing. When I finish, I go straight back to the hotel. Like, I'm really in my own world. And again, that may be a positive thing and a negative thing. But um, I want to do my best to bring my music to life, not in comparison to someone else's not in competition. I believe that those are doing things for the wrong reasons. Um, competing with someone to say you should recognize me in the midst of all of these artists mm -hmm. means that I would be giving a different show every time I went on stage. Yeah. Because one show, tomorrow I could be the headliner. And then tonight yeah. I'm not the headliner. And then the next day I'm, well, I'm relatively known, but not really which means that I'm trying to compensate for every single night depending on how well the crowd knows me, which means that I'm not giving them a fair show. One of those crowds is gonna miss out on something depending on if I'm motivated by the wrong thing. So I, I think to compete or is, is bad motivation. You know, I think that um, the only thing I need to know is when I hit that stage, the reception I get from the crowd. And there's numerous reasons whether they like me or they don't. And I have to be responsive to that, adjust and do better. And that's all, all the indication that I need, you know what I mean? Yeah. Never thought that I could achieve who would I be? Not seeing the thinkers make believers from I think every generation says that their time was better than the one that comes afterwards. It's just a natural thing. Our parents do it, their grandparents did it to them. It's just a natural thing. People like to point the finger outside versus pointing the finger at themselves. And time moves on and you stay here. Therefore, there's a fear that comes with that. Um, once you get older, you can't relate necessarily to popular culture as much as you used to. So the first impulse is to reject it and say that there's something wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Time is just passing. Uh, I'm a progressive artist. I don't think hip-hop was better in the past and worse now. Hip-hop exists the way it does and it's so popular for its ability to conform and adjust to the current events in modern day times. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing like a chemical that when you put it in and absorbs the elements around it, incorporates it, and then regurgitates it back out in the form of music. You know, uh, if there's any issues in hip hop that you don't like, look at society at that day and time. And those are your concerns, maybe politically, religiously, socially, whatever it may be. Hip hop's always just a reflection of that. So any political unrest, any economic strife, those same things will be reflected in hip hop, and then the people will act out in different ways. Uh, I think it's a pretty empty debate. I'm not a golden era purist at all, you know. And I'm not sure why. Well, no, if my music was a dish, it would be a Mediterranean dish. It would be the sum of different empires and cultures put together to make one meal. So it'd have some tomatoes and some yogurt and some bread, some lamb. You know, it would have you know, tomatoes coming from South America, mm -hmm. yogurt and domestication coming from the Mediterranean, and bread originally coming from the Mesopotamia, mm -hmm. all on one meal. So it would be a classic Mediterranean meal, for sure.